look at this equation and <laughs> you can pause the video and just try to balance it. So from a statement we need to balance it using ion electron method. So understand how we go about that formula. It's very simple. I'll make it as simple as possible and within five minutes we'll try to attempt to balance it all. So the first thing that you'd want to do is first of all identify the common parts. So for me if I look at this part I believe it's more related to the chromium part. And then this is more related to the other part. So this is also called the AF reaction method, where you get to identify the two AF reactions making up a full equation. Okay. So one thing that is clear is this equation is not balanced. Because we have got two chromium atoms there. There you have got a single chromium atom. For your own information, if you try to balance by observation, you'll not be able to do so. You can try if you want to. Okay. But anyway, we've identified the AF equations here so we can quickly write them down so I'll start with the chromium part so the chromium dichromate which is at O7 2 minus gives us chromium 3 ion okay so for the sake of space I can just move this a bit here. the other half reaction is this one which is alcohol the ethanol so C2 H5 or H is equal to now uh, it is more related to carbon dioxide because of a common carbon as you can see so now notice that I've paid particular attention to the charges that we have okay now the first thing that we would want to do whenever we're dealing with a balancing now the equation using the ion electron method we need to observe other atoms we ignore the oxygen and the hydrogen okay so just know that start with other atoms and then oxygen and then hydrogen that's the order okay so let's observe i'll start with first half reaction so we can see that chromium atoms we have two there on the left hand side on the right hand side there is only a single one so i would have to add a two there so they have become two now i've said first of all balance atoms other than hydrogen and oxygen and then balance oxygen and then hydrogen that is the order and then the charge so we've balanced the chromium atoms in the first reaction we don't have any other atoms that we need to balance so now we can go to oxygen right so oxygen we've got seven so the rule is we balance oxygen by adding what by adding water so whenever you're balancing oxygen you need to add water molecules so we've got seven oxygen atoms so we'd have to add seven water molecules why seven because if we add seven water molecules they are coming with seven what oxygen atoms so after introducing water you'll notice that we need to balance now the hydrogen atoms because on the left hand side we don't have any hydrogen atoms so 2 times 7 gives us 14 so we'd have to add 14 hydrogen atoms on our left hand side so we've balanced the first equation first of all we can quickly go to the next equation before we balance the charges we'd have to go to the second one so let's try to balance the other atoms i'll start with carbon carbon is the other atom that we have other than oxygen and hydrogen so we've got two on the right hand side there is a single one so we'd have to add a two there okay so quickly we have a two now, now after introducing a two the other thing that we'd have to do after balancing other atoms we'd have to go to the oxygen how many oxygen atoms do we have on our left we have one on our right hand side we have two times two giving us four so where do we have a shortage we have a shortage on the left hand side how many three so we'd have to add three water molecules to balance oxygen atoms and then after introducing that Notice that we now have a shortage in terms of the hydrogen atoms on our right hand side. So from the water molecule we have got 6, 3 times 2 is 6. In the ethanol we have 5 plus 1 which is also 6. So we have 12 in total, 12 hydrogen atoms. So we use hydrogen ions to balance the hydrogen atoms. So at this stage you can clearly see that we've balanced all the atoms including oxygen and hydrogen atoms in both uh, half reactions. Now this is a stage where you now need to balance a charge to be able to identify which one is 
oxidation and which one is reduction okay so let's observe the charges i'll start with the first one we have got a proton there how many are they so i've got 14 positives and here we've got two minus there there's a coefficient of a one so we just have two negatives so i'll just say minus two so the overall charge on the left hand side 14 minus 2 will give us a positive charge of 12 and then this side we've got 3 3 plus times 2 which will give us uh, 6 plus ions on the chromium part and then on the outer part the outer doesn't have a charge so we have a charge of a 0 there so all in all We've seen that we have a ch change in charge from 12 to 6 plus because the overall charge on the right hand side is eh, a 6 plus. So, a reduction in the charge is it oxidation or reduction? So, that is direct reduction because we've seen the reduction in terms of oxidation in charge, oxidation number. So, oxidation tells you that there's gain of what? Electrons. So we'd have to put some electrons on the left hand side. How many electrons are we going to add? We'd have to add six electrons. So six electrons were gained in the first half reaction. For the sake of space, I can just move this a bit on to the right hand side. Okay, so whatever we've done to the first half reaction, you can also try to balance the charges in the second half reaction. So quickly, let's try to observe what is there. So, water has got no charge, the alcohol has got no charge, the carbon dioxide has got no charge, and then only the, the hydrogen ions have got a charge. So, 12 positives. So, we have 12 positives. So, here we had the zero charge over our charge. So, is that reduction or oxidation? So, oxidation is the increase in the oxidation number. So, we are moving from 0 to 12 plus. So, you can clearly see that we had. We had lost 12 electrons. So we lose 12 electrons by on the right hand side. So say 12 electrons were lost. Okay. So now in our fec in our next step now, at this point, let me erase uh, all the calculations so that we focus more on what we have. So in our next step now is to balance the number of electrons in the two half reactions. Notice that in the first one we have got six electrons. In the second one, we've got 12 electrons. We need to balance them. So this will require us to multiply the first equation by a 2, right? So the entire equation is supposed to be multiplied by 2. So that the number of electrons will become 12. So I can quickly substitute there. So we have 12 electrons. So the 14 hydrogen atoms will now become 28. The chromium will be doubled, now become 2. The chromium on the where there are 2 are going to have a 4. And then the 7 will become 14. So we've just doubled everything that we had in the first reaction. As simple as it is. Okay. <laughs> now at this point, we can now combine the two half reactions to come up with a balanced equation. So we'll cancel with the spectators that are common on both ends. Okay. So let's try to identify what is common. So we can get as if first of what. We have got 12 electrons on the left and then we have got 12 on the right. So they'll cancel out. What else do we have on opposite sides? So here we've got 3 water molecules. We would have to remove from the 14. 14 minus 3 will give us 11 water molecules remaining. What else is common? So we can clearly see that we have 28 and 12. So we'll remove the 12 from the 28. We'll remain with what? So that will be 1, 6. So remain with 16, right? Okay. Anything that is common on the opposite sides? Nothing is common. So we can write what is on the left. So on the left, I'm remaining with 16 hydrogen atoms. I'm remaining with 2 dichromate ions. So plus 2 dichromate, potassium dichromate ion. And then we also have uh, our ethanol there. C2H5OH. On our products, is no enough space. I write them on the bottom. So, remaining with uh, 
four chromium, three plus ions, 11 water molecules, and uh, two carbon dioxide molecules. Okay, so this is basically the balance equation of uh, that equation, and this is basically how we basically get to balance an equation using the ion electron method.